Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here today. Got another video for you. Uh, so I'm just I'm just in my computer at the moment. I'm on my website, and I'm actually what I'm going to do is I want to show you how to create a clickable link on your blog posts. So basically, the idea is I've got this I've got this article here that's on my website. It gets a little bit of traffic, traffic, not a ton, but um, what I want to do is I want to try and sort of add a clickable link. So what I'm going to do, I've got a bit of a process here you can follow. And if it works, I'm going to add a little action here that says, do you like this post? Share on Facebook, uh, tweet on Twitter. And um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. This way you don't have to worry about installing plugins because if you get too many plugins on your website, you start to slow things down. And although this is a little bit more manual, it can be a really handy way to you know, just entice people to share your work on social media. And it's just nice and simple. If they're really reading it, they're going to see it. So it's nice and easy. And it can be done with text or an image. Yeah, not a problem. So what we're going to do is, uh, so I've got this article. I'm actually going to, in a new tab, I'm going to edit the post. And in this, after I bring up this page, so I'm going to start off, I'm just going to type, type the text down. So I'm going to say, did this work for you? Why not share on Facebook or tweet out on Twitter? So I've got this here, I'm going to bold italicize that, and here's what I'm going to do. Basically, I've written this up. It's like a little, just a little suggestion for people to, to share what it is that I've written because they found it useful for whatever reason. And I want to add a link here to share on Facebook and a link to tweet out and Twitter. So that way when they click on it, they everything pops up ready for them to go and they can share it in their social media. So I'm just going to add up, open up a new tab here. I'm going to go to sharelinkgenerator.com. So what I'm going to do, so to start off with, I'm actually going to set both of these up. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the uh, link address of this article. Now, if you've actually written, right, if you're currently writing the article and it's not live, you can go up to the top and if you've got your, your permalink set up, you can actually just copy this link here, paste it in there. Or you can simply... Write your article, publish it live, and then go back in and add this in afterwards. It really is up to you. I generally prefer to operate off the uh, address bar here just because I know it's definitely accurate. Um, yeah, so I've got this here now, ready to go. So I'm going to copy this URL here. So copy, head to sharelinkgenerator.com. Now scroll down, and here the Facebook one is dead easy. I'm going to click here, paste click create the link now before I do anything else I'm also going to click here and paste as well we're going to come back to that first of all let's just copy this link here for the Facebook text I've got some funny things going off my browser at the moment just ignore that but this is the URL if you're actually operating in HTML it does create a HTML code you can copy as well but for now I just want to copy this link uh, go back to my post highlight the text I want to use go up the top here to insert a link and then I simply paste. You see it's got here facebook.com, share, share a PHP, and a whole bunch of other stuff there. Whoops. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> so we select, click on the link, paste, apply. So we've just created a link here. Now what we want to do is actually create a tweet for Twitter. The difference with Twitter is you don't want to just have your address in here because this is actually a tweet. So maybe you want to put down something like this post worked for me. And then you want to say copy the title. So now we've got this post worked for me. Facebook link, maybe I want to add italics. Ah, oh, sorry, move that commas. Facebook link preview like, won't load, how to fix it. And then a link to the post. And then because I want people to know who wrote the post, I'm going to put via... my Twitter, Twitter handle, and then maybe I'll just put like a hashtag there, Facebook. So I've actually composed a tweet. So this can be used, so you can say this worked for me, Facebook link preview won't load, how to fix it. You can quite easily put that in there. It's pretty straightforward. And this also works if you have actually written a quote. If you put a quote up on your uh, blog post, you can actually put the quote in there, have, you know, the link to the article after it. That's how a lot of people have clicked to tweet this quote on their 
blog posts. Exact same process, you're just typing out the tweet that they've shared. So we're going to create this link as well. Click and create the link. Copy. So I'm going to select all of that. Copy. Head back to my post. And again, highlight the text, click the link, paste, enter. And that's it for Facebook and Twitter. So we've got that there. You can also add it to an image if you want. Say if I wanted to add it in here, I can simply click on the image, the edit button, and link to custom URL and paste that URL in here. But I don't really want to do that because it doesn't really make any sense. So I'm just going to close that. But it just shows you, you can add it to images as well as text. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to update this. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to refresh this post. Everything's loaded. Scroll down, scroll down. Here we go. Did this work for you? Why not share on Facebook? Tweet out Twitter. So if I click on this share on Facebook, I get this here. I can type out, this is awesome, or whatever I want to put there. And I can share that, and it has a link, a link below, so I can actually share that to Facebook. Everything's all set up. All I'm going to do is type out what I want about the status and click post to Facebook. So that's a nice easy one. Facebook is going to tick, go back, leave. And then also Twitter, click that one. And people come, tweet is, tweet is all ready to go, and they can simply tweet it out. Nice and simple. So um, I actually have the Buffer app installed, so I also have this here. So it's also useful if you've got people who use Buffer, and they go, oh, yeah, I'll buffer that in for later. So that's how you can do Facebook and Twitter really easily. There's a few other options there, though, too, which I'll just touch on. If you want to set it up for Google+, Plus, you pop your uh, link in there, do the same thing. LinkedIn, you can pop in your URL again, so it'd be something like, well, maybe not that, sorry. So if it was this, maybe it'll copy the URL. Maybe I copy the title. Write a little summary about it. The source, maybe I'll put here, you know, we'll build your blog or Wade Master, and you create a LinkedIn post. Now, the Pinterest one is actually pretty easy to use as well. Um, just so you know exactly what we're doing here, I don't want to actually add this to the post, but uh, to this post, but I'll show you how it works. So basically, I'm going to right-click, copy this image address. I'm going to paste the image address to the top here, and then I'm going to copy the actual post URL. So it goes image and then post, and you can say here, this is an awesome quote by Michael Jordan. I don't even know if that's spot right. And you can create a nice little Pinterest setup there. So I'm going to click create link. Copy all this. Copy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit enter in this image. Center it. Add the link. Click OK. So mate, I'm just going to update that. I'll remove it again in a second. Just going to refresh. Okay, so now I can you click here, pin this image. So if I click that, like I said, you can add it to the image itself. We now get this option here to create a board, pin it to Pinterest. Nice and simple. So it's a really handy um, sort of tool, sharelinkgenerator.com it is, um, to create these clickable links. And the final one you can actually do is you can actually set up an email. Um, personally, I haven't used that. Uh, because you do have to specify a recipient. But um, the ones above, all solid, excellent uh, way to make your, your post just a little bit more shareable. So uh, let's go back in and get rid of that update. So that's basically it. That's how you can create these clickable links. Like I said, you can do it with quotes and have a little quick to retweet this quote. You can try and be a bit crafty with it. You know, if you have a Pinterest, thing, a Pinterest or... Um, you know, you can put a quote up on Pinterest and maybe you want to go through and do it to certain viral images you think may get you some traffic. So it's a good way to try and use other people to try and spread the word for you. So um, just remember that uh, that link again. It's sharelinkgenerator.com and uh, really handy website, dead easy to use. Like if you can't figure that out, then, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. 
So uh, I hope you found that useful because uh, it is pretty handy. And um, if you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, which will a link to that will be below. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time. This is Wade McMaster. Signing out.